Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you a practice exercise in BrickCAD 3D where we'll make this simple pipe joint. Now, before we start this, I want to share this free practice drawing ebook with you. So, if you like this kind of practice drawing and you want to practice with 2D as well as 3D drawings using your CAD software, whatever it is, then you can download this free PDF ebook to practice with the sample exercises. All the drawings in this ebook are properly dimensioned and they are completely ready to use. So click the link in the description to download this free ebook right now. So with that, let's get started. So here we'll start with the 3D modeling environment of BricsCAD and the first thing that I'll start with is a polyline. So I'll go to draw panel, select polyline and here I'll click at a point and whatever unit you are using because unit is irrelevant in this kind of example. So it is just for practice. So whatever unit you use, it won't make much of a difference. So with whatever unit I have selected, I'll simply type 10 and enter. Now that's 10 unit and right here, I'm going to type 5 and enter and enter again to exit this. So we have this kind of L shape. All right. Once we have this, let's now go to fillet and I'll start with this fillet, the 2D fillet. All right. The radius of this fillet should be 4. So I'll go to radius, 4 unit, enter and then select this line and this and we've got the fillet applied. Now the next thing is, well, couple of circles. So let's go to circle. I'll make the first circle here of radius 1.8 enter enter again and at the same center i'm going to make another one of two unit radii now let's copy this one so i'll just copy this and using copy tool i'll make well another copy just like that okay now we'll convert this entire geometry into 3d using sweep tool to do that i'll go to this flyout right here on the modeling panel and select the sweep tool. All right. For sweeping this, you need to start with one of the circles. So maybe I'll just select this smaller circle here and press enter. Now select this path and done. So this circle is now swept over this path. I'll repeat the process again. So go to sweep, select this, enter and select this and we are done. So this one is the larger one and this one is the smaller circle. Now we are going to merge it together. As you can see, well, these are two different geometries. We need to merge it. Now to merge it, I'll just select it like that and I'll go to move tool. Select this center point and move it on this center point or maybe this end point because we already have the reference which we can use. Now it may look like nothing is happening here. And even if you change the visual style simply by right clicking here, and visual style and if I just change it to let's say modeling then it may look like well it's completely solid because it is but now we'll make it hollow and to do that I'll go to solid editing panel and from here I'll select subtract now select this outer 3d model press enter and then select this one now carefully make a selection so that only this inside piece is selected and now press enter and then we have this hollow pipe so that's our base shape now that base shape is done, we'll make other geometries. So after making the base shape, simply just click here so that it's rotated on this side. And on this side, I'm going to make the next geometry. But as you can see, this is YZ plane. And on this plane, BricsCAD won't be able to make anything. So you need to make sure that this is XY before you can actually work on it. For that, I'll go to coordinates, UCS, and I'll select current view. Now, whatever the current view is, BricsCAD will make that as X, Y, and now we'll be able to make our drawing on this plane. So I'll start with circle and I'll just make it here randomly. I'm not going to just make it exactly on top of this because we can move it later anytime we want. So right here, I'll just make the first circle of 1.8 unit radii, which is this radius, radius of internal circle, and press enter to repeat the circle tool and then make the second circle. Now, in this case, this circle should be larger. So its radius is 3.6 and enter. All right, there we are. Now, we also need to make another circle exactly at the center of these two. And for that, I'm going to use a reference line. So I'll just track this one and click here at this intersection and I'll click here at this intersection. All right, now we can use this midpoint. So let's go to circle. And using this midpoint, I'll make another circle. And this radius is 0 0.5. And done. Now we can delete this line. It's no longer needed. Now using array, we'll make 
six copies of this. So I'll just select this circle, enter, and this is the center. And we already have six copies, so it's just totally fine. Also, I'll make sure this is not associative. Right now, it will just make it associative. So I'll go to this associative option here, and I'll select no. All right, done. Press enter, and we have this geometry. Now we need to convert it into 3D again. To do that, I'll just orbit my drawing. And as you can see, it's quite far from the actual drawing. So we have this one here and this piece here, which is totally fine. We'll take care of that. But I'll simply convert it into 3D using the extrude tool. So again, I'll go to the drop down, select extrude, and I'll just select this circle, the largest one. Press enter and add a height of 0.4 unit and done. Now we'll just remove the parts which are all of these and to do that once again i'll use extrude feature and now i'll select all of these circles the smaller circles individually so just select it all press enter and now just move it randomly so that it is long enough to pass this disc shape there we are and now we can subtract it so let's go to subtract select this main feature enter and select all of these features including well this one all right, we're done. Everything is selected, this too. And now press enter and there we are. We've got this hollow shape, not hollow, but this cutout view. All right, now double click your middle mouse wheel and now move it closer. So I'll just select it entirely using move tool. I'll now bring it close to the main shape, which happens to be right here. Actually, I'm not going to click exactly on this. I'll simply move it closer. And now we can just join this one with this. Now to join this, I'm going to use move tool again. I'll select this one, enter, and I'll make sure that this center is selected. We have two centers, just select this one, the one closer to this pipe, and now move it on this center and done. Now in a similar way, we need to make the feature on this side. Now to do that, I'll first go to this world UCS so that it returns back to the original condition of the user coordinate system. Now with that, I'll now go to, well, the XY plane, which happens to be this one. So that's our top and I'll just move to this back view. All right. Now you can just make it on the back view or you can also go to the front view if you want to just make it here. So maybe I'll just use front view. That makes more sense in this case. And now let's repeat the process so i'll just move it aside and start with circle now in this case too i'm not going to make it on top of this instead i'll just make it somewhere like that and here as you can see right out of the box it won't let me make the drawing because i forgot a really important step and that's changing the ucs so i'll go to ucs and select current view now we are ready to make it in this view so let's go to circle now click here and this should be 1.8 enter now the second circle so press enter and using the same center make the second one now this should be 3.6 all right but we also need more circles on both the sides so actually i'll just make it on one of the sides not on the second one so i'll just move it like that and the distance is 6.2 and press enter now on this end point i'm going to make another circle and the radius of this circle is 1.8 there we are so now with that, we are ready with one of the halves of this and now just a little bit of cleanup work and more detail is required. So I'll go to line and now press and hold shift and right click. This will let you select a temporary override snap. And in this case, I'll select snap to tangent. Now this will let us create tangent here. Click anywhere on the circle and we'll have a tangent. Repeat the process. So press and hold shift, right click and select snap to tangent and then click here done we have a tangent line repeat the process for this side or you can make mirror images maybe i'll just use mirror so i'll type mirror command m i -R, r o r enter select this line and press enter select this point and this and we have the mirror image like that now we can repeat the process for the second side so i'll just select both of these and once again i'm going to use the mirror command so mirror enter and now the mirroring line will be this one. Now you might be wondering why we don't have the circle because I missed it. So let's just make that selection again. So I'll just select these two as well as the circle. All right, and I'll repeat the mirror command. So mirror, enter, select this point, and any point here in this line is just fine, and press enter again. And we have this complete mirrored geometry. Now all we need is a cleanup work. So delete this, and let's go to trim tool right here, 
press enter don't forget to press enter key after selecting trim and then trim this 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 and this part of the drawing and press enter to escape this command now finally we need to make circle so go to circle and on this center make the first circle of radius 1 and then we have the second one of radius 1 all right we are done now we need to convert it into 3d but before we do that let's join it all into one single unit as you can see these are all separate curves so i'll just select it all entirely and type join command j o i n press enter and done now it's combined into one single unit okay now we are ready to convert it into 3d so let's go to extrude again select this enter and you know the workflow 0.4 unit will be the height again i'll go to extrude I'll select this circle, this one, and this one, enter, and I'll just make it like that all the way through. And then finally, go to subtract, select this one, enter, and then select these smaller cylinders, and we have this groove. Now, double click your middle mouse wheel and bring it closer. So once again, select it all, use move tool, and bring it close to this geometry where we'll just combine it with this. Now, for combining this, I think it's still far, so I'll just select and I'll move it, well, again, closer. Now, that's close to this drawing. Again, we'll just merge it right about here. But the direction of this feature is not right, so we just need to rotate this. Now, for rotating this feature, I'll just select it, and we have the Rotate tool right here, 2D Rotate. Actually, for 3D feature also, I'm using 2D Rotate now. Select this point and simply type 90, and that's going to rotate it by 90 degree. That's what we want for this. All right, we're done. Select it all entirely and now use move feature. So I'll go to move and here I'll select the one which is inside again, this center point and click on this center right about here and done. So we have got this added and now the pipe joint is attached. Now we finally need to do a little bit of refinement here because currently these three are different solids. We need to combine it into one. And to do that, I'll go to this solid union Select it all and press enter. Now it's just one single unit. Also, we'll add fillets on all of these sharp corners. And to do that, I'll select 3D fillet. The 3D fillet tool is right here. So go to fillet and now the radius. So I'll just select this edge right about here. And I'll select another edge that's here and press enter. Now the radius is 0 0.2 and enter. Done. Now Finally, we'll add chamfers and the chamfer tool is right here. Select chamfer and once again, we need to select the edges. So we need to select this edge on the top and here also we need to select the edge right here on the top. We're not going to select the edge which is at the bottom of this drawing. So there we are. I'll also select this inside edge, this inside edge and all the inside edges right here for the circle. So with that selected, we are ready to add the chamfers. All right, press enter and the chamfer is 0 0.2 again and the chamfers are added. So with that, we have this final pipe joint in BricsCAD 3D.